This final tutorial is going to show how to basically draw a polygon with any number of sides. There are a few basic rules that we can sort of use and it involves a little bit of maths. So if you think about square, each angle is 90 degrees. Hexagon, it was 60 degrees that had, that had to turn through. Now, the rule we have, for n number of sides, we take 360 degrees and divide it by n. So for square we had 4, so 360 divided by 4 gives us 90. Hexagon, 360 divided by 6 gives us 60. If we had a triangle, it would be 360 divided by 3 gives us 120 degrees. Obviously then we can sort of work our way through the different ones. So what I want you to have a go at doing independently is have a go at creating polygon with like 60 sides. And what we're going to have a look at now is just the code for creating one of these. So back into small basic. We're going to use. I'm just going to put a question mark for the size because that's what we need to worry about: the number of angle, number of sides we're going to have. We have our N4, and remember we have turtle. Dot move. Oh, help if I actually spell these properly. This time we're going to be using our turn command. So let's do the hex again. So we had 1 to 6, and it was 60 degrees, and we're going to run that. Obviously, you might want to add different colors. Oops, so we're getting our hexagon being drawn. Obviously, a good idea to test these as we're going. Now, you might find these take a little bit of time. So we have turtle.speed. And we can actually speed up the turtle as well. Makes the uh, drawing quite a bit quicker. Let's try 60. And I know that was 3.6. No, that would be, let's try 100 sides. Obviously, the length is a bit too long, so I might need to shrink that down. Obviously, very, very small, very tight. And because there's a lot of equations, the turtle does move still quite slowly. Okay, so that's our basics for drawing all the shapes. What you want to do then, finish that up, go on to worksheet 2. There's a few tasks, so drawing the square and hexagon, like you've worked through. Then have a go at drawing a house. Look for patterns that you can repeat. And then a few extensions, so you can work out how to draw a circle and then a few of the other sort of shapes.